night, Tubies. Let's start again. I had to redo this video because it was too long, the first one. But So to make it real quick, um, this is a continuation of my uh, favorite authors, um, the library one. Anyways, I want to get right to business. Um, there's several good authors out there. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of them that I like. Um, Dorothy Morrison, this is one of her books. Um, she's a really, really good author. I met her at um, a festival. Um, she's got a few of the books, um, The Craft, uh, The Craft Magical Companion. Those two books uh, work hand in hand. Um, Everyday Magic. And she's actually part of that Sabbat series of books that I was talking about in my last video. She done the Yule Sabbat. Great book, full of information. That's Dorothy Morrison. Um, then one of my favorite favorite. This is actually my all-time favorite author, um, Scott Cunningham. Um, he does a lot of encyclopedia books. Um, this one here is on crystal, gem, and metal magic. Um, he's got another one on um, the encyclopedia of uh, incense oils and brews. And of Magical Herbs. Um, oh gosh, so many of them. He's a really, really good author if you're an herbalist or you're interested in herbs. Um, his herb book is so full of information, you cannot find that much information in any other book. Um, that's Scott Cunningham. Then another one of my favorites, um, E. Dane McCoy. Um, this one here is Magic and Rituals of the Moon. Um, she does a lot of Celtic books. Uh, she's got one on the Sabbat. Um, she's got a really good, what I call a bath and body book. It's called Enchantments. Um, a lot of good recipes in there for um, bath oils, massage oils, herbal oils, bath teas, all that kind of stuff. So if you're into the herb magic again, like I said, which I am, so you'll hear a lot of that. Um, Edane McCoy. Another one of my favorite authors is uh, Patricia Telesco. This is a Victorian Grimori. Um, this, um, this is all about like the Victorian era and the magic stuff they used back then and how if you really read the book, um, you'll see how um, they were magic even though people back then didn't consider it magic. Um, but that's Patricia Telesco. She's a proclaimed kitchen witch, which herb magic and cooking go hand in hand. So you might check into her books. Um, she's got a really good one called the uh, Kitchen Witches Cookbook. It's got a lot of good recipes in it for the sabots, the espots, um, vegan recipes, um, all kinds of wonderful, wonderful stuff. Another one that, that I like is uh, Raven Grimasi. Um, this book here, actually, I didn't even pay no attention when I grabbed them, but this book here is actually one of my autographed books. Um, he's, uh, his works are what I would call more advanced reading. Um, it's more on the basics of um, actually what witchcraft is and the uh, the makeup of it, where it comes from, why it is what it is, how it works. Um, Raven Grimasi also done a couple of tarot decks, The Well-Worn Path and The Hidden Path with a wonderful woman, Stephanie Taylor. Um, I met them at the Heartland Painting Festivals that we have here in Kansas. Really, really wonderful, wonderful people. Um, I know there's several other, and I'm sorry that I'm hurrying through this, but I want to make sure that I don't drag my time out to 11 and a half minutes like the last one. I could talk all day about my library of books. Um, there's a few other um, pagan authors out there. Christopher Penzak, wonderful guy. Met him at um, the Heartland Pagan Festival. Knows what he's doing. Got his stuff together. Wonderful, wonderful person. Um, Ellen Dugan, she's a guard. She's a garden witchery. Um, she's got some books out about the magical home and stuff like that. Um, really good author. Um, DJ Conway is another one. Um, her books um, that I like, that I have in my library, are 
um, animal spirits, um, animal magic, um, totem animals, that kind of stuff. Um, that's DJ Conway. And then another one that I've never met that I would love to meet is Starhawk. She is the author of The Spiral Dance. She's also got another book out that's really good family related um, called the, I think it's called The Family Circle. My oldest daughter's got that book right now. Um, I wanted to pull it out and show you because it's a phenomenal book for children. Um, but it goes through all the sabbats and the celebrations and the goddess. A wonderful teaching tool if you're including your children in it. Um, that's why Starhawk, Cir the Circle Round is what it's called. And then her, fame, her book that she's well known for is The Spiral Dance. Um, and it's all about just the goddess. I mean, goddess worship and you know, being one with the goddess, and I just love that book. Um, so I'm going to do a quick recap of some of my favorite authors. Sorry, got an echo in my ear. Um, we got Dorothy Morrison, um, Scott Cunningham, Edane McCoy, Patricia Telesco, Raven Grimacy and the tarot decks that they've got. I'll do a video on my tarot decks because I've got several of them. And the, I, I can't remember if it's a well-worn path or the hidden path, but it's one of those that I have. Um, Christopher Penzak, DJ Conway, Starhawk, Ellen Dugan. Um, another good one um, is uh, Silver Raven Wolf. She's got some really good books out there. Um, but yeah, those are just some of my favorites, and I'm sorry this is rushed, but I'm trying to figure out this whole time thing on YouTube, and the last one that I did was really good, actually, but it was 11 and a half minutes, so they rejected it, so we've done this really fast. Um, I'll do another video after this one, hopefully, if my husband doesn't come home and complain he's hungry, um, on some of my oil books that I have, and Believe me on this, these books don't even touch the books that I have. Um, I am an avid book collector. I love books. I love to read. I love, re you know, putting all that knowledge into my head. And it's took me years and years and years to where I can actually just lay the book aside or pack the book away and actually remember what I've read in those books with like my herbs. I mean, I could go through every herb that's listed in Scott Cunningham's um, Herbal Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs and tell you the properties and the plants they're related to and the goddesses they're related to and all that kind of stuff. But it took me years to do that. Um, so that's, uh, that's the quick list of some of my favorite authors. You can get most of these books online um, through eBay or um, Llewellyn.com. I don't know if I'm supposed to plug that or not, but Llewellyn, if you just go to Google search, you'll find it. It's a great website. I mean, it's they've got like daily tarot on there and stuff like that, so you might want to check that out. But that's it for this video to keep it short and sweet and simple. Um, have a blessed rest of the day. Um, love and light. Bye.